We are following a developing story out of Miami County. More mosquitoes are now testing positive for West Nile virus. And Miami County Public Health now sending a warning to residents to take precautions. Two News reporter Dana Smith joining us live with what you need to know. Make sure you have some insect repellent handy because officials say they're seeing a lot more infectious mosquitoes than usual. They're more than just a buzzing, biting nuisance. They also carry disease. We're, we're getting a lot of them, a, a, lot of, uh, a lot of mosquitoes and a lot of West Nile virus positive uh, pools throughout the state. It's a trend officials are calling unusual. Miami County Public Health confirming West Nile virus was detected in mosquitoes at Troy's Kensington Park and Tip City's Kyle Park. Uh, somewhat surprising, I heard uh, last week that there were some here in Troy. Uh, and, you know, I understand that they would be in the area. Uh, I did not know that they were, that they have confirmed cases as close to home, though. Any Experts say aside from an itchy bite, most people infected with West Nile virus won't even know they have it. About 80 percent of the people will display no symptoms whatsoever, uh, so they won't even get sick. If you do get symptoms, they'll tend to be flu-like, things like fevers and body aches. City officials are taking steps to get rid of the infectious bugs, fogging streets and spraying pesticides. As for residents, the best way to protect yourself from West Nile virus, use insect repellent. Avoid going outside from dusk to dawn. Wear long sleeve shirts and pants. Use screens on windows and doors. And be sure to tip over any containers that hold standing water. That's where mosquitoes breed. The, the mosquito breeding area can be anything from a, a an empty pop can to a flower pot, that, bird bath that hasn't been, uh, you know, maintained. Uh, anything that can hold water can breed to mosquitoes. So far, there are two human cases of West Nile in Ohio, one in Lake County and the other in Ross County. I'm reporting live, Dana Smith, 2 News, working for you.